Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my continuation of the best skincare of 2023. Today's video is going to be all about toners. I do feel like I made some of you wait a while on this video, but in the end, I am so happy with the toners that I've picked for this video. Let's just go ahead and get right into it and let's start out this video with my favorite category as somebody with dry acne prone skin. Let's start with Calming Toner. And yup, once again, I'm giving it to the Anua Heartleaf 77 Toner. I want to say a few things about Calming Toner. If you saw my empties video, I went off a bit on how a Calming Toner isn't necessarily a product that everyone needs in your routine. And of course that makes sense. We're talking about toners as a whole. This is an optional step. I, of course, do see a lot of benefits with still my favorite being the Anua Toner. So let's talk about why. First of all, this is a product that contains 77% heart leaf extract. As an ingredient that is antioxidant, hydrating, and anti-inflammatory, which is a trio of perfection for my skin type. And it doesn't stop there, it does have other extracts in it as well, plus some panthenol, which I love as an ingredient. You get a giant bottle, 8.4 fluid ounces, and I will tell you my favorite way to use this is to use it as a quick mask. And this time, I will even show you exactly how I do it. By doing this, you are preventing the product from evaporating, you are pushing it more into your skin, so you really get a chance to see what that product does for your skin in a much more concentrated way than you would by just splashing it on your face or even spraying it on your face. It's a really good way, in my opinion, to understand the toners in your collection. And doing this method, especially when my skin is irritated, when I'm dealing with a breakout, that is where I really see the potential of this product and why it remains, to this day, one of my absolute favorite toners. Let's move on to my pick for the most hydrating toner, and it is the COSRX Propolis Synergy Toner. In all truth, I feel like part of why this is so hydrating has to do with its consistency. In contrast to the Anua, which is a lot more watery, this one feels thicker than water. You can feel a bit more viscosity to it. Whether you do the toner pads method or not, you can really feel that deep hydration. And of course, I love the ingredients in this as well. We do see some similarities with my favorite calming toner in that, again, we have some panthenol in here, we have some hyaluronic acid in here. Propolis has antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, even antifungal properties. Honey is a very strong antibacterial ingredient, which of course means these are wonderful ingredients for acne-prone skin. Now with propolis, it is important to note that allergy is a possibility. Actually, no, wait. I don't even know why we say allergy is a possibility with certain ingredients like snail mucin and propolis when it, it's a possibility with any ingredient. I do like to note it because it's kind of frustrating that this can be a wonderful product for me, but if you have a propolis allergy, it is not gonna do the great beneficial things for you. Basically, in my picks for best hydrating toner, of course I'm gonna pick a product that isn't just hydrating. It also does have all of these benefits for acne prone skin, and it also does help to support your moisture barrier, which all comes together to make such a fantastic toner. Owner. And I really like that if you're interested in K-Beauty but you don't yet know if you want to order from overseas, this is a product that is carried at Ulta. Let's move on to my pick for best antioxidant toner, and I gotta go with the Indie Lee Coenzyme Q10 Toner. Look at this, I'm almost out of this one. I feel like every time I talk about antioxidant products, I do worry that it might not sound exciting. You know, it's not anti-acne, it's not anti-aging, it's antioxidant. But antioxidants really are important to have in your skincare routine, and of course this makes sense because they neutralize free radicals, and free radicals are found everywhere in the environment. We get them from UV rays. And we worry about them so much that there really is something called the free radical theory of aging. It's possible that aging is a result of damage from free radicals. So you want to have antioxidants. I like to have them in my AM routine because 
Speaking of UV rays, they pair nicely with your sunscreen. But I don't always have a lot of time in the morning, and that's why this is one of my absolute favorite products. We have a mist toner here. A beautiful mist toner sprays a fine mist. This one has the most scent of any of these products without having the word fragrance. You are smelling some of the extracts in this product, but it smells so good in my opinion. Scent is personal. It's quick, it's easy to use, and you're getting antioxidant protection. Now with this one, this is a little bit more expensive, but I've caught it multiple times now for 50% off in Ulta deals. And you know I'm going to be looking for more of those Ulta deals. Let's move on to my pick for best exfoliating toner, and for that, I am going with the Eason Tree Chestnut BHA 2% Clear Liquid. I do have the old packaging because I stocked up a long time ago. A few things I want to say with this. I'm calling it my favorite exfoliating toner, but that is probably because of my skin type, which is dry and acne prone. This is a BHA toner, so it is using salicylic acid as a K-Beauty product using salicylic acid. Interesting. That's a little harder to find because a lot of Korean skincare does focus more on being gentle using ingredients like PHA and even then at low levels. So this is a very interesting release from Eason Tree. And again, to talk about the difference between BHA versus AHA, BHA is oil soluble and it can help to exfoliate in the hair follicle, which makes it a really good choice for acne. And it's often recommended for oily skin types as well. The interesting thing about Eason Trees is that this does not have as low of a pH as some of the other 2% BHA toners on the market. And for a long time it was believed that BHA was pH dependent in the same way as AHA. Newer research has come out and suggested mm, that may not have actually been the case. Ultimately what I'm saying is this is an easier salicylic acid product for me to use. Now, one thing I will say is I feel like the jury is still out on how this goes as a comparison to products like the Paula's Choice. I've seen some people say, and I feel this way as well, that it is a dupe. And others have said, no, not so much. I do better with the Paula's Choice. So feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. For me, I actually do better with this because again, sensitive skin, tough to disrupt my barrier so much. This is a great fit for me. And as for texture, this one is very watery, so I do prefer to apply it with a cotton round. I don't smell anything in this product, but again, not the strongest nose out there. I do think it's interesting that they included chestnut, but I feel the real hero ingredient here is, of course, the salicylic acid. We are coming to the end of this video. I have one more toner to share with you, and this one I'm calling best overall. But first, this one is not inexpensive. It is not inexpensive at all, and because of that, I really want to make sure to say, I don't think all of you need this product. It is, in my opinion, obviously an excellent product, but you may not need it. So let's have an honest conversation about SK2. The reason I love this product so much is that you've seen all my favorite toners. We don't have any AHA containing toners in this video. A lot of people love AHA toners. I struggle with that ingredient as a whole, and it's a shame because that's a great ingredient for hyperpigmentation. It even shows some benefit in terms of fine lines and wrinkles. But with my sensitive skin type over here, I feel like a broken record. I do have to be really careful. And that's why when I tried SK2 and when I saw what it does for me, I was blown away. It almost looked like I had been using an AHA containing product, except I hadn't. There is something truly special, in my opinion, about Patera. Patera on the ingredients list looks like Galactomyces ferment filtrate, but SK2 loves to say they spent a lot of time and energy developing that specific Patera. And I feel like it does show, for me, the dupes haven't quite compared. Now again, this is something that is very personal, and I think that it's important to ask if you even need to look for an alternative to AHA. Do you have texture? Do you have hyperpigmentation? Sometimes I see young people try this and say they didn't see any benefit from it, and I, I feel not surprised by that. You, you probably don't need this if you are younger. You probably don't need this if you are able to use these stronger actives. 
And I gotta love that I also have to throw you one more detail, and that is I didn't even think this was doing anything for weeks. For weeks. It took about five weeks for me to realize what this is doing, and even then I had to see a comparison of my own face to go, oh. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't notice. <laughs> because it's such a gentle product that still fights texture, fights hyperpigmentation, evens your skin tone. It, it does so much, but in such a, such a gentle way. So it's my favorite, but it's expensive. And for that reason, I like to try to explain it to the best of my abilities. I will still say, if you still are interested in this after hearing all of my, you might not need it ifs. <laughs> I do think that this is the right size to buy. This is the 2.5 fluid ounce size. Yes, it's still expensive, but I think this is where you would will kind of get an idea of it. I don't know if a, a sample is enough, but I don't want to tell you to buy the giant size if you've never tried this either. With this being the holiday season, there's also some really good deals on set, so I'll make sure to link those below as well. I still feel like it's difficult to talk about this one because even though I've seen quite a few comments from people saying, I completely agree, best toner I've ever tried, I still see some people say, you know, I bought it, and it didn't do anything for me. You know, you know what I will say? If you ever find yourself regretting an expensive purchase, just uh, compare it to Elon Musk and Twitter. I hope this conversation is helpful. I don't want to just say an expensive product is great. I want to hopefully help to narrow down who it might be for. Now, a few more details. I'm putting this in my toners video. You may notice the name of the product is Facial Treatment Essence, but it is meant to be used immediately after cleansing, so in my mind, it's more of a toner. And it is watery. I have in the past put it in spray bottles, but I have to admit, I think I do kind of go through product a little more quickly doing that. I like it because I like mists, but I go through it a little quickly. So these days, with as expensive as it is, I just kind of pour it into my hands and gently pat it into my face. You gotta conserve this one at $99 for 2.5 fluid ounces. And this is J Beauty, but it is very popular J Beauty. You can get this at a lot of our Western retailers as well as worldwide. But for me, the hype is real on this one. I'm calling it my best overall toner, so obviously I think that, yes, it's worth it for me. I hope this conversation was helpful for you. And my friends, that brings us to the end of my best toners of 2023. As always, feel free to share your thoughts. You do not have to agree with my picks. You can share your favorite toners in the comment section below. But if you did find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe on your way out, and I will see you all next time.